today we're going to be hitting chest we're going to work north east south and west we're starting off with uh, around the world which is going to hit areas that you typically will never hit you're going to understand that you're hitting much more of the pack because of the degrees that you're going to uh accentuate through the range of motion next movement that we're going to come in with is going to be the fly which is a lot more linear straight out to the side and back forward except we're doing a very strict fly we're not doing a fly press where we would bend the elbow focus is single joint movement it's going to help us to isolate the pec the third movement that we're going to follow straight away with is going to be the uh, press the flat press the flat press is a multi-joint movement it's going to activate tricep chest anterior deltoid let's do 50 high knees 50 butt kick and 50 uh jacks we're going to start with uh 10 pound dumbbells we're going to go right into around the world and yeah. we're gonna we're gonna start by activating the pec. The around the worlds are gonna activate the muscles a little bit differently. We're gonna hit degrees that we typically wouldn't get with uh, with regular flies and regular presses. This is an oldie but goodie. All right, open them up. Deep breath right away. The minute you start to move out, right, you get that breath. Get everything on the outskirts of the pec. Seven. Activate the whole chest. Keep it going, baby. Warm up the shoulders at the same time. Put the feet up on top of the bench. Uh, hands are down. Push up position. So we're keeping the stomach tucked in, but we're going to lead with the actual forehead. But you're still going to try and retract your 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 shoulder blades, your middle back. But the forehead is going to reach the floor before the chest does. And you don't want to hyperextend your back. So don't go for the chest. Elbows are going to be wide. Fingertips are turned in slightly, the first finger. What that does, it flares the elbows. So it's going to transfer a lot more of that load to the upper portion of the pec in this particular position. Now on this set, we're, we're just gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna get uh, 15 around the world, then we're gonna do regular 15 fly, and then we're gonna add uh, the uh, dumbbell press to it. So all of these are gonna be done with a 20. Stop it at the top, go for my fly, nice and strict. So with minimal bend to the elbow, right? One, because what we're trying to do is pre-exhaust that muscle. Two, not turn it into really like a fly press three which would have us uh have to use a lot heavier weight pronate and pump these out begin explode up so what we are doing is we're pushing blood we're building blood developing the chest is all about pushing that blood feet are going to go on top same position all right now let's uh let's get serious okay let's uh take the 20s and let's move them up to 25s uh the around the worlds of course are very uh you know, intense movement. So, you know, we gotta be very careful with the loads that we pick when we're executing this exercise. 30 pounds on the fly, all business, baby. Strong mind, strong body. Tight grip on the dumbbells, rock back. Vertebrae to vertebrae, straight up in the air. Correct, control that. Now on these 50s, I want you to move them very explosively. You're gonna control the negative. Um, you're only going to pull about three quarters of the way up. Try not to lock out. Only lock out when you feel or if you feel you're reaching, uh, you know, total fatigue. You can rest at the top. Lock out the arms and you can rest a little bit at the top to extend the set. Now we're going to we're gonna reverse everything. So we're going to we're going to lie back. Yeah. We're going to start with the 70s. We're going to get okay. two reps with the 70s. You're going to kick forward. Then you're going to lie back. You're going to do two more reps and then you're going to kick forward and rest. Okay. So we're going to try and we're going to do that. We're tr going to try and make our way to 10. This is almost like a form of uh, what would be rest pause. It's gonna help us to get more repetitions with a max weight without having a spotter available. So it allows us to overload the muscle and we're gonna break down uh, the loads. And as the movements become more isolated, the loads will change with that. Now, don't forget the stretch. This is what keeps a lot of guys without that density because they don't get a deep enough stretch. And what you don't stretch, you don't activate. So you got to think in terms of of, of uh, flexibility. Uh, you know when you're training, you know for especially for longevity, you look good, but you get stiff as you get older because you don't have that full range. Good, nice strong flies. Now you can give me a little bit more bend if you want this time around. All right, deep breath. Keep that chest massive. Now these around the worlds are going to go to 25, and this is just a flush everything at this point flush everything one of the biggest uh problems i see when people doing their chest and they don't get the chest to develop is they don't retract their shoulder blades you have to keep your shoulder blades away your shoulders have to be as far away from your sternal fiber as as possible so if your shoulders are rolling forward you're going to hit shoulder your, your your sternum has to be high imagine like you're superman and a, and a freight train is coming you're going to stop it with your chest 
that position has to stay throughout your chest work. And as you start to fatigue, which you will because you're only human, embrace that fatigue. Um, either drop down in, uh, in loads, reduce the repetition, but never relinquish your form.